And that means that all of us, all of us who have more than enough, must share with those who do not have enough. Oh, I can remember. I can remember in Bahama land when I was a little boy, I didn't have any shoes. I had one pair of tennis. But I was the happiest person in the world. Now my closet full of shoes. A shame! It ain't right. Some ain't got none. So if your foot is eight and a half, I got a couple of pair you can use. And I remember when it only used to be a short khaki pants. And I was the happiest child in the world. But now my closet full of long and short pants. God knows we are blessed, church. God knows we are blessed. There were days when we used to beg for those tires to be able to string cord around and make a pair of shoes. God knows when we used to thank God for the okay flower bag to make your drawers. God knows. Y'all don't play cute on me this morning. Don't play cute on me. Because I know what it used to be. And we come a mighty long way. And church, we forget where we come from. And so God knows. God knows that Advent is challenging the church to get back to sharing and caring. And so ladies, you look good this morning. Yeah, you got on your hat, you look good. <laughs> but not only that, you got to get out there and you got to work for the Lord as ACW members. <laughs> and the men who are here, you got to get out there and work for God in the ACM to visit and to care with the young people. Amen. You strong young people, you got to go and help to visit those who are sick. Those who are disabled and can't make it out. We got to make a difference in people's lives. That's the work of the church. And it don't take money only. It takes us, man and woman, boy and girl, to go and make a difference. A telephone call, a little text, a little message to encourage one another to share. And some said, the soldier said, to John the Baptist, what must we do? But John looked at them, he said, now you all be content with your ages. <clears throat> be content with your ages. You see, the soldiers used to do some crookedness in John's days. What they used to do, they used to go and arrest some people, say, so I can lock you up, and they lock you up now. And the poor people say, my God, I can't stay in jail. He said, now you give me a little tip, I'll let you out. Y'all know about that kind of thing? Oh, well I know what happens in Nassau. They're around some of the Haitian brothers. And sometimes they tell me to come and say, Father, you know, I, I can't talk Creole, but I can understand. I had to pay $300 for policeman let me out. Corruption. John said, be content with your wages. All of us, yes, we need more. Yes, but we don't need greed. Be content. Some of us, we want more from the government. The government got to do this, the government got to do that, but then we don't want to pay the tax. But God is saying to us, be content. I never have to worry about no pay. Because I know that the laborer is worthy of his hire. I ain't got to worry about that because God will always bless somebody who is a cheerful giver. Yeah. You ain't got to worry about that. I never belong to no union. Not to say that unions are not important. They have their place. But I ain't got to have nobody talk for me because my work speaks for myself. And when people see you working, they will reward you. 